Hey, 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 Julie Bear here. How is it going? I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. I'm sitting here. Uh, hopefully my reception holds up. Um, just out and about and running around. I um, got the, uh, went to meet my son's teacher this morning. That was super exciting. He's starting second grade. I cannot believe how big these kids are getting in so fast. Um, but I wanted to stop and do this, um, Sorry, hold on, I'm getting messages. I wanted to stop and, and do this Facebook Live because I've been a little bit, you know, MIA and, and not doing lives, and that's okay, right? Um, sometimes we have to just go with the way that we're feeling. And so uh, today I felt pretty good. Today I was like, hey, I'm going to hop on. I miss the community for sure. Um, I really need to silence notifications before I do this, guys. Um, but uh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, Tori? What's up, Tan? Hey, Eva. How are you, girlfriend? Um, but really, I just wanted to come on and talk to you about a little bit about what's been going on. And sometimes I think what can be going on um, if you're a, an entrepreneur, a home-based business owner, whether you're doing network marketing, whether you're doing affiliate marketing, uh, you know, or just own a home-based business. And sometimes you know, you're sitting behind those four walls by yourself and there's a lot out there. And what can happen when there's a lot out there, we get, um, overwhelmed with information. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like sometimes I feel like I can get totally overwhelmed by information. I've, I've also been blessed to run my own training company where, um, I, you know, offer, um, products, I offer coaching, I offer, um, I have my own network marketing team that we're building really, really, really fast. Very blessed to have our team. I absolutely adore and love them. And, you know, switched into a new company last year. Um, last year, I also built out four other uh, companies. So, you know, you talk about just crazy. And I kind of hit this, this, this point this year where I had some things point out to me in regards to, um, you know, having other circumstances run my schedule and not me being in control of my schedule because I was so headstrong and wanting to build my business that pretty much last year I spent, I'll be honest, 10 hours a day in my office, at least five days a week, you guys. Um, I barely saw my kids. I know it looked like it did it probably on social media, but like during the week, I mean, I was in the office all day long and then all night. And this year I really, you know, earlier this year it was pointed out to me and I literally had a breakdown that I didn't feel good. I didn't feel like me. I felt like, um, you know, I gave up my workouts for what, for income, for, you know, money. And I started, taking a deeper look within and, and saying, okay, why am I doing this? Because I never really truly sat down and figured out my why. I mean, I'm just going to be totally honest. I know we talk about this all the time with network marketing. What's your why? Your why should make you cry. My why doesn't make me cry, but it doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It just means that I am determined. I am motivated. I am driven. Like that's just the person I am. I know it, it, like I have done things that most people would quit and stop doing just because I've hit so many walls that honestly, there's been so many times I wanted to throw in the towel, but then I'm like, well, wait a second. I do have a vision, right? I might not say, I might not have this clear path to a why saying this is my exact why. Like I want to whatever, retire my husband in a year. Or I want to pay off my parents mortgage. Yeah, of course I'd love to do all of that. But my why hasn't made me cry, but yet I continue to press on and move past and continue to move forward on my journey. Well, let me tell you, that can lead to some major burnout, okay? And so what happened was um, this mentor pointed out to me that I had all of these outside circumstances controlling my schedule except for me and that I gave up myself and the own, my own stuff that I love. Right. So it was a real eye opener and that I need to learn to say no. Okay. Um, because I was always the yes, yes person. Um, 
so I did. So I took a step back and then I started feeling more like myself, right? Like I feel like you guys, it goes in ebb and flows, right? Like there's these peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys of having your own home-based business. Like this is not, it's not easy. Like, do you guys agree having your own home-based business? Like it's, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. Does that make sense? If it does, give me a thumbs up in the, in the comment section. So here's the thing where I'm getting at. So, you know, you continue on and you do the do and you show up and you, you know, you give value and you inspire. But recently, and I don't know if any of you follow me on my personal page, I posted about this Mer Mercury retrograde because I literally felt like for the last couple of weeks, just like I was walking around in this freaking haze of what is my next step? Where do I want to go? And I put a lot of pressure on myself. Like I have to have it all figured out. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like you have to have this, I won't swear uh, in case the kids are there. You have to have this stuff figured out. Well, that's me. And I've never allowed myself or gave myself a break. You know, last year when I said I pretty much, you know, I saw my, my kids for dinner and then that was pretty much it. I made a commitment to myself this year that that would not happen. Okay. So you have to figure out another plan. You have to figure out a plan that works for you. And so really I've allowed myself this summer to just, yes, still build my network marketing company. Yes. I've still taken on a few coaching clients here or there. I don't do any group coaching. I don't do masterminds. I have no intentions on doing that. And I only take on a certain amount of clients, but yet I keep be getting pulled in also another direction for my business and what I want to do. And it's something where I've allowed myself the last few weeks to just sit back and soak it in and get through this Mercury retrograde, which people are explaining like it's an emotional time, like you're, you're supposed to give yourself this time to like reflect and go inward. Um, and so that's really what I've been doing. So here, I just want to give you guys a, a couple tips because it's been helping. Would you guys, would you like a few tips on and what I've been doing that's been helping me to gain more clarity because I don't know about you, but sometimes because I am a multipreneur and I love being a multipreneur, my brain could go like 500 miles an hour and I could just like get overloaded. I don't know if I'm alone there, but I'm always like, you know, looking over here, looking over there, or maybe I should be doing this, or maybe I should add this to my business. Like that has been me. Okay. Full frontal. Like that has been me. And I have realized that certain things are going to happen in our life that we just cannot control as much as I want to be in con control. But at the end of the day, what I was starting to see was inauthentic marketing that was really turning me off on social media. And I started getting like this, ugh, like this icky feeling or everyone's posting the same thing or, Oh God, here, you know, even though I have Facebook ads myself, like here's another Facebook ad of a, now another, like the same thing. And there's people out there saying that they're teaching stuff and they're saying they are building a business around this. And I know that they're not. And it becomes very, um, I'm, I just, it's like very disheartening. And, and so I think it's disheartening because what I say I've done is legit. Like I am teaching network marketing strategies and, tact and tactics and fundamentals, and I'm building a network marketing business, right? Um, not taking away of those that are not in network marketing anymore that are also amazing out there like Mr. Ray Higdon and Mr. Eric Worre and there's, there's a ton, but I'm talking about legit people that I know that don't do network marketing that are claiming that they've built these businesses, right? Or it could be anything. It could be those in affiliate marketing. It could be coaches parading around their you know, their bags, their, you know, thousand dollar bags saying that they're a million dollar coach. And I know for a fact, they're not a freaking million dollar coach. Okay. So it's stuff like that, that I was like, just was like, I need to take a step back. 
Um, this is feeling really inauthentic to me. I don't want to be one of those people. And I'll be honest, like I just stopped. I stopped doing Facebook live. It doesn't mean that I didn't, I, I continue to listen to my podcast. I continue to feed my brain. I've been reading books and I've been spending time with my children, which is the most important thing, which is by far the most important thing. Let me remind you as business owners, you guys. Okay. So um, I'm not like cutting out Facebook from my life. I mean, let's face it, like I can't. Um, but I've got sidetracked by looking at, should I be on Instagram? Should I be promoting more of my YouTube channel? Should I be over here? Like you guys, we live in this crazy perplexed world right now where I feel unless we can get super clear and ask ourselves the really hard freaking questions that we don't ask ourselves, which I'm going to share with you in a second, that, that all of that stuff can overtake our life. And that's what I don't want for you because that's what happened to me last year. And all I did was end up, even though we made um, an incredible income, it doesn't matter because I spent most of the time crying. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what I've done in the last two weeks from taking this break from doing like Facebook lives and, and really besides uh, being there for my network uh, marketing business I and, and my coaching clients, of course, I haven't really done too much except go through this Mercury retrograde, let it do what it needed to do with me and start going inward. So the number one thing that I recommend doing if you're feeling stuck, cluttered, uh, like you don't have that clarity of like, what is your next step? What is your direction? What is your purpose? I, I can't stand. And I'll be honest when people talk about the why and the passion, your passion, because I feel like there's many different things you could feel passion about. And then I feel like they put this spotlight effect on what's your life's purpose. Like who the hell knows? Like, this is what I say. Unless you go through the motions and you, you take those steps and that's what I'm saying. What has helped make me, made, made me successful. Even though I didn't want to do it, I still did it to see if I wanted to do it, to see if I liked it. Right? Because how do you know unless you try? So how do I know what my purpose is? Unless I go through the motions to figure out what that is. I have many different passions. My kids are my passion. I love God. I love my husband. He's, you know, makes me passionate. You know, I love my network marketing team. I love inspiring people. I love health and fitness. I love cooking, even though I suck at it. Right? It doesn't matter. It's like my outlet. So I love yoga. I love traveling. I have a lot of passion. So when people put this like, oh, what's your passion? Turn your passion into your profit. What the hell does that mean? Right? There's so many different ways, just like there's so many different ways to skin a cat, they say. There's like, what, over 100 ways to skin a cat? There's 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 over hundreds of ways to, to make a million dollars a year. There really is. But it's it's not getting getting sidetracked it's by focusing inward and not externally this is the thing people always want to go external you have to go internal so the number one thing i did is i talked it out with somebody like a trusted advisor someone you trust someone you know i don't care if it's a your mom your dad your sister your brother your husband your your assistant your whoever, your neighbor, a best friend, you have to find someone you could talk it out with, but you have to find someone that knows you and knows your business. So for me, it was my, one of my, uh, assistants, she, her and I talked it out and you know, she's been knowing the way I've been feeling and yet she's there for me every step of the way. And it, it felt so good getting it out to her. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I can't move forward. I feel like I can't even turn on the Facebook live. The person that's done over 300 Facebook lives, I feel like I couldn't even go live. But I went with the, what I was feeling. I didn't force it. I didn't force myself to go live. I allowed myself to have that time. So you have to allow yourself to have the time and go through the motion. So talking it out with her absolutely helped. Number two, ask yourself the tough questions. So... What I mean by that is, are you truly happy with what you're doing? You know, what pisses you off? What pisses you off about, you know, others that maybe are out there doing the same business that you're doing, but doing it in an inauthentic way? Does that piss you off? You know, what makes you 
shine, what lights your fire and what you don't like to do, you better ditch it right now. So I started asking myself these questions and what it came down to is honestly, I, I've been doing personal coaching for a really long time, two, over two years. Is it in my best interest in terms of time quality? Is that leverage? No, even though I make a great income, is that leverage? And I love helping people. I absolutely have the best clients, but I'm actually thinking about not coaching anymore. I mean, I'm gonna put that out there. What I love is doing more of this agency style because I see a lot of marketers out there lost in their branding and their marketing. And so I'm, I formed an entity in my business of where it's agency, where we're building out like brand sites, like websites, and I'm helping them gain clarity around that in their direction and not making it boring, right? We're, we're making it exciting. And so I like that style of the business. How would I know that unless I started getting really real with myself, okay? And I'm sharing this with all of you because I'm, I'm, I'm literally walking you through my journey right now because I know what it feels like to feel like you can't move forward anymore. I know what it feels like that people are always like, oh, the power, power of positive thinking and do your power affirmations in the morning. Sometimes this stuff just doesn't work. Like it just doesn't. And so you have to go deeper. I understand if you meditate, awesome. I'm not a meditator. I just don't do it. I have my own way of doing things. I journal, but you know, if you do your affirmations, awesome. I don't necessarily do affirmations, but it doesn't mean that I'm not propelling in other areas or listening to other things that are feeding my mind and getting me motivated back up again and getting me going. Okay. Does that make sense? So ask yourself the tough questions. I started asking myself, what do I like? What do I don't like? What can I do different? Stop doing things for everybody else. Stop doing things for the income. And, and what is it that I feel that I'm called to do, right? And no, I still don't have all of those answers, but I'm gaining more clarity through this process, okay? Number three, um, know that where you're at right now is exactly where you need to be, and don't try to figure anything else out. That's it. Like, I keep going and have of why is this happening to me? You know, I had all last year of like running hard, running hard, running hard. And now I feel like I got to this position because we're evolving as entrepreneurs, as business owners, you guys should always be evolving. But why do I feel stuck? So that's basically where I stop questioning you guys just stop questioning and just go with the motions. Okay. Just go with it. And what I do is I just pray upon it. Whether you believe in God or you believe in the universe or whatever your thing is, just I, all I've done is accept it. Nor I'm at right now is where I'm meant to be. And I just pray to gain, um, strength and clarity. I always pray for strength and clarity moving forward. Okay. Number four, create a plan. Okay, so now that I'm I'm knowing certain parts of my business that I want to keep or I might actually want to do different, um, now I have to create a plan around it, just like you do. Okay, so create that plan around where you want to go. There are still things that I'm tossing in the air. One thing is a membership site that I was talking about earlier this year that I've been sitting on forever. I've been feeling resistance. I have 250 people on a wait list and I've barely talked about it, but yet I feel resistance around doing a membership site. Why? I don't know, but I have to go with these feelings. I have to go with these motions. Look at this cute little lady. Look at this cute little lady in my Facebook live. All right. So, um, that's another thing, right? Again, there's so many different things that we could do. Um, I think for me, what the fear is around a membership site is I always want to give away the sun, the moon and the stars, but for a price point of what I'd be offering it for, I mean, I guess you just have to set realistic expectations up front, but yet it's a way for me to still show up and serve my community. But again, I'd be like, oh my gosh, do I have to go live daily? No, I would not be going live daily. That's just not my thing. But you, I guess you set it up the way you, you want to set it up and then you relay that to your audience, right? So who knows? It might still happen, guys. I'm just, like I said, I'm taking you guys through my entire business plan right now, right? Isn't this funny? All right. Um, but I do appreciate those that have been on that waiting list. Like how amazing. I have to do something really special for these people. Um, 
Stop. Number five, stop looking at what everyone else is doing. Stop looking. Stop comparing seriously STOP. Like, can we get an amen to that? Because here's the thing. The more you look, the more confused you're going to get. Just knock it off. So I have been literally like going like this (laughs) and putting my head down during this Mercury retrograde and saying, okay, if I'm not doing Facebook lives, I better be getting my butt in gear and really figuring out what the heck it is I want to do and not do it because that's what's expected of me, but do it because I want to do it. Okay. Like there's a big difference there. And so stop looking at what everyone else is doing. Stop wasting time so much on social media. If you feel like that's you, start setting a schedule around saying, okay, here's one to two people I'm going to follow. Here's, you know, I'm going to go on for this one hour during the morning and this one hour at night. And I mean, like, honestly, you guys have to be disciplined with it because I understand it could suck a lot of your time, but I've gotten really good at this lately, like really good at this. And, um, it's scheduling in my social media hours. All right. Six, this is my last and final tip. And I apologize that this has been such a long live, but I hope you guys have found value from it. All right. Um, and if you have share it, if you know, people need this message, because I'm sure that there are many, many people out there that are seeking clarity and what they're doing. They feel like something's wrong with them. And I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with you either. If you feel like you've been feeling this way in your business. Um, so six, give yourself a break. Just allow yourself to feel the emotions. Give yourself a break. Take a step back. Take yourself like remove yourself from that equation, do all the other things that I mentioned to you in this live, like talking it out with a trusted advisor, asking yourself those tough questions. And even if it's hurtful that you have to maybe ditch something that you love and not do it anymore, knowing though that it's going to help you in the long run, like those are the things that you have to figure out for yourself. Um, like I said, with my coaching, with my private coaching, right? Even though I love it and I absolutely love my clients, I really don't know how much longer I'm going to be offering that. I, I just don't feel like it's really um, in my cards in the future here for my business. Um, so and then number three, know where you're at right now is where you're meant to be. Number four, once you figure out number two with asking yourself the tough questions and what you want to do, what you don't want to do, and, and focusing on the, the one thing, as hard as it is to focus on the one thing, focus on that, create a plan around it, okay? So if you're in network marketing, maybe that's your goal is to have a competition with yourself to see how many people you can reach out to in a day. Maybe you set a, a limit of 20 or 30, who knows? I know somebody that set out a limit of 100 people to just have authentic conversations. We're not talking spamming here, okay? Um, so create the plan. Number five, stop looking at what everybody else is doing. Okay. And stop wasting so much time on social media. And number six, give yourself a break and give yourself permission to take the time to take a step back because I promise you in the long run, sometimes we have to slow down to speed up and it's awesome. Okay. It's awesome. That's where clarity happens. Um, and that's where you get really in tune with yourself. So, um, I am going to continue to go down my path and figure out what it is. Um, I will not be, I will not be stopping with my network marketing company. I switched companies a year ago and I, I love it there. I'm talking strictly in my, my training company over here in my business. Um, I'm looking to possibly take on actually something else that I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, because guess what? I've never done it. So it'd be a totally no new business for Julie. Um, but I like a lot of the, there's a lot of pros to it. So who knows? I might be doing that instead, uh, alongside my network marketing company, um, business, sorry. So here's the thing. Um, 
I just wanted to hop on here, kind of let you guys know what I've been going through to see if any of you can relate. And I know I see all of these amazing mess messages in reference to a comment you made earlier about, hold on, Tina, hold on. What did you say? In, oh, in reference to a comment you made earlier about current online marketers, yes, there's been so much ick being put out there this past year. It's been too much. I like to pack your girl. Yes, girl. I mean, seriously, Tina, that's the thing. And I'm, I'm a marketer, you guys. I love marketing. I love sales and marketing. I feel like because it's, it's needed in business, but I like to sell to serve, okay? I, I, or serve to sell, whatever you want to say, sell to serve, serve to sell. I don't want to just sell somebody into something that I know I'm going to send them down a freaking river to debt. Or I'm going to send them down the river to like, they're, I know that they don't need this product, but hey, I'm going to, I'm going to float them this product anyways, just because I want the sale. Like, no, that just doesn't feel good. And then there's marketers out there that just use like that marketing lingo that just makes me want to cringe. I don't know what it is. It's like they can't put in their own personality. And so it's been leaving a bad taste in my mouth. And I've been just kind of taking a step back and saying, okay, I love marketing and sales and branding, but how can I do this in my own way? So I'm not, poor, I don't feel like icky or I don't feel like I'm putting something out there that is being not recepted by somebody else. Um, and so, yeah, that's the thing. So Tina, I'm happy to know, like I'm not crazy and the only one that thought that. Uh, Cleidra, I just told my husband this very thing. I went inside and will be making more changes. Yes, lady. I'm super proud of you. You're amazing, by the way. Um, Jamie, amen. I am always comparing. Jamie, knock that S-H-I-T off, girl. Knock it off. Honestly, um, I will tell you right now, You can't, there's probably so many people that compared themselves to me last year like how is she growing so fast how come she's having so much success and they just like wanted to tear me down trust me I had an incident recently where people were saying crap that I've never said and yet they they just do it in spite of, like they do it because they just want to throw arrows at your back and they it, I think that there's something that makes them feel better so I'm sure there are people comparing themselves to me or still compare themselves to me but it doesn't mean that I have all my stuff together because I don't. I'm literally sitting here and saying, it's success. can you imagine if I was clear and I did have that one mainstream focus, what my business would be if I had all that success last year and I was scrambling all over the place like a freaking squirrel and um, like hustling. You guys, I hate the word hustle. I hate cannot stand the word hustle and I've used it before I'm guilty um god who's calling me Puerto Rico you guys I get the craziest calls on live Puerto Rico no um and I was hustling but you it, it sh I feel like hustle is hard I feel like hustle equals hard and I don't really care for that word I feel like there could be a better word in terms of inspired, driven, um, you know, just different words, I guess. I think words, there's a lot of meaning behind words. And for me, I, I hustled last year. Uh, this year for me, the word is, uh, a clarity and, um, just integrity for sure. Integrity and clarity. Um, so I, uh, I could, I hear you guys all in that. Um, hold on. Uh, Jamie, I've missed you. Oh, I miss you too. Thank you. Prophet Angela Michelle Hunter. That's a really interesting name. Um, she says integrity. Yep. Um, uh, Melissa Bowden says, or cold messaging. Nothing makes me angrier. You guys, I have a hair tie holding my phone up because my, my five dollar clip from target didn't want to work is that hilarious or what okay um cold messaging nothing makes me angrier in the world of marketing and network sales absolutely amen i just got two of them last week 
and I wanted to vomit. I'm, I'm like, listen, can I please steer you in the right direction? Um, so that's what you do. You say, listen, I don't mean to be a jerk. I am in the profession and this is what I can't stand seeing. Are you open to have me point you into the right direction where you can learn how to do this in a better way? And most likely they're going to say, yes, I had somebody spam me on my fan page and I'm like, oh my gosh, do you not see what I do? Obviously they didn't. And I, she, she ended up apologizing and, and said that this is what her upline was teaching her. So I said, okay, honey, let me, let me teach you a different approach. Go on my fan page. I gave, you know, I resent her the link, even though she messaged me there and I'm like, check out my videos. I have over 300 training videos here and just go to town. Okay. It was, it was funny. I, I mean, it wasn't funny, but it was such a blanket message. Like she started with this, um, what is it? Uh, a compliment and like immediately went into selling me like immediate. It was so on out that ticket made me sick. Okay. When people put pressure for sales for me, it pushes me away. Okay. So Tanya change that be the person that changes it. Right. Just like all of these icky like marketers out there that are utilizing the same language and all of their ad copy and all that stuff that I can't stand. Um, I want to change that, right? Because I love marketing and sales because it's part of what makes our business go around. So all you need to do is be the person that changes it and to help teach people that you don't need to sell or hardcore sell, sell, sell people, whatever. Tracy, I love you too. Vicki, what's up, girlfriend? Vicki, I need to, um, I need to mail you that book. I got to get there today. I'm going to mail that over to you. Um, okay, Tanya, for me, when people, when people put pressure for sales or wanting you to hound people for sales, it's a total turnoff. It makes me want to hide away. Okay, so don't do it. If that, I don't know what business you're in, but if like, let's say that's your network marketing company and maybe it's your upline, either don't do it or find, find a new team or find a new company. That's all I could tell you because I would not have anybody pressure me and I would never pressure anybody on my network marketing team to go out there and make hardcore sales. Like that's just ridiculous. Um, Donna, what's up girl? How are you? All right guys. So this was a pretty long live. Share it out. Make sure that you share it out if you found value. And thanks for hanging with me this afternoon. My gosh, I did not expect this to go as long as it did. But if you're just hopping in now, uh, go back to the beginning and uh, check it out. If you're on the replay, put hashtag replay. And if you're new to who I am, um, let me know. And um, just put new in the comments. I always love meeting new people. Um, and then head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com and grab yourself one of my free resources. I have many there. I'm actually in the middle of redoing my website. Super exciting. I cannot wait to put it out there because it's awesome. It's super awesome. Um, so uh, anyways, you guys, listen, I got to run. I got to go pick up my kids. Be blessed. I hope this message served you today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next training. Um, hopefully, I will not be away soon. Uh, I have some other things that I want to come in, hop in here and talk to you guys about. Uh, so hopefully this week, if not early next week, I will be back. All right. So stick close. See you guys soon. Bye.